So uh, what do you think about, I just literally just finished getting the cam in. Fast or slow? It's decent. Hello and welcome back to Speed Freak Garage, home of Power Sports on YouTube. We are going to go ahead and start taking our engine apart. Yes, apart. <laughs> so we're just going to put this stuff out of the way. Now the very first thing we need to do is get these rockers out. And the reason why is we need to replace our camshaft and valve springs. In order to do that, the rockers have to come off. So, we're gonna get them off. They look really small. Probably something I should have looked up ahead of time is uh, if this engine is metric or standard. Um, they fit the same. Well, oh wait, it, it should be metric because it uses M10 bolts, right? Anyway, so got it on safety mode. And so we're gonna break. Basically what you're supposed to do is, interesting. So you're supposed to turn it to where your timing is matched since we're gonna be taking all the timing off too. And then some of the rockers will have pressure on them. What you wanna do is take off the ones that don't have pressure on them and then come back and you know turn the engine and then do the rest because you don't want the rocker to go flying or to damage the threads on the engine also I, i'm hesitant to use the impact I'd, let's see if it's easy enough with a uh, standard ratchet before we you know destroy a new motor so not new, but you know what I mean. Okay, let's break them loose first. Okay, so that one has pressure on it, so we gotta come back. Okay. Now we can let's see. Put that. Now we can zip them off. You know what, I just realized my uh, assembly, I don't think my assembly grease is here yet. Shit. Okay, anyway, so those are now, so we wanna turn, whoops. 
we want to turn the engine and I don't have a 24 millimeter in the big one. I'll have to go buy one, which sucks because I'm going to need it. But um, so we're just going to turn the engine. Until those rockers are released. Okay, then we'll break them loose by hand. <clears throat> okay, and then zip them off. Okay. Now here's a little tip. I don't know if this is gonna work on the first try, but you should be able to reach in, lift. Last thing I wanna do is drop one of these and then bring it over. So I'm gonna put it on the workbench the same as, the same as it is in the engine. So we're gonna do the same here. We're gonna lift up. Oh, oh, that scared the shit out of me. So we're gonna lift up. And out. Set it down, just like that. They recommend keeping them in order, especially if the engine is um, not new. Now I don't know what they replaced on this engine and what they half-assed. I'm gonna check all the torque on the heads uh, we can do that first, I guess. There's a very specific pattern that I have saved on my phone. So, first thing to do is to find... Uh, it's not 17. Man, I'm so sick of this nasty grease all over these things. Obviously make sure these are clean before you stick them down in your engine. Okay, I would say that's a 15. Be pretty confident. Fuck, pretty, pretty confident in that. So, now what you want to do is get your torque wrench out. And the final torque spec on these is 75 foot-pounds. Now there's a sequence. You go, you know, a certain amount of foot-pounds and then do it again at the higher level and then again at an even higher level. However, we're not going to worry about that because these are already, well, they're supposed to be already torqued. So we're going to go all the way up. Man, this thing does not want to go up there. 75. I'm going to go 76 just because we're using an extension, which means you're not going to get your full torque. Uh, can I even get... Yeah, talk about sketchy. Um, yeah, that's sketch. Okay, definitely not gonna get. Okay, so let me pull up the spec on my phone real quick. Okay, so um, 75 foot pounds, and then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Man, that is confusing. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jeez. All right. Ah, it's gonna twist the whole engine stand. Of course it is. Do it this way. Okay, one. Two, three, four, damn it, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay, five, six, and then in a square, so five, Five, 
five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, they did that right. Can't clean gasket material off, but you can torque a bolt right. That makes sense. Okay. Do this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then these little bolts up here are let's see eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, twenty five foot pounds. So let's see, we're still gonna need our long. Uh, I think those look like tens. Gotta clean some dirt out from working on the Porsche. I really should have a whole separate set of sockets just for working on the engine. That would be smart to say the least. But not everybody has the luxury of having tons of money to throw around. So, and this is just kind of, oh shit. Fuck. Okay, I just fucked up big time. I forgot to reset the torque wrench. God damn it, shit, fuck. No. I'm gonna be so pissed if this fucking thing leaks, loses compression because of that mistake. That was really bad. That one was loose. That one was loose. Hmm. Okay, so those torques are checked. Okay. So we can pull our push rods out and we have Yeah, my text messages are going nuts. I better check them. We have zero plan to reuse these. Stick them over here for now. So these are the OEM and they, for our application, are not strong enough. Not even by a mile. So. <clears throat> I can't even shut the GoPro off to check my phone. Okay, sorry about this. I, my phone's going completely nuts. <sighs> okay, so for now we're gonna leave the valve springs intact. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the camshaft first. Well, at least we're gonna take it out. I completely forgot that I don't have assembly lube, so that sucks because that means I can't do fucking anything 
Fuck, I'm gonna have to look online and see why the fuck that shit's late. You'd think it would be on a shelf. You know, I can at least install this. This is supposed to be slightly wider than OEM. It fucking better be for the price. Of, well, it wasn't that expensive, but you know what I mean. It should be, it's supposed to add a little bit of tension on this way too loose chain. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, now, in order to break these bolts loose, we're gonna have to use the impact. But before you get all pissy at me, I'm not reusing the cam. So I don't, yes, it could damage the cam. That is very true. But if you're not gonna use the cam, don't see why it matters. Correct? Correct, okay. It's really not putting that much. I mean, I wouldn't do it with the comp cam. If I had to take the comp cam off, I'd, well, I need to go get a uh, lockout. Uh, I can install the flywheel in the back. Well, shit, I probably can't do that with the engine stand in the way. I need a lockout. I don't even know how the hell I would. I know people have made a lockout by using these bolts. I don't even have these bolts right now. Um, and then like putting like a crossbar on the engine stand to lock it out. Um, I'll have to figure that out. Oh no, is that, oh no, okay. Yeah, I ordered a windage tray. I ordered some of the OEM stuff, like the knock sensors. Um, okay, so these bolts I probably don't need, but I'm not, see, I'm gonna put them right here in the engine where they would belong, but I don't wanna risk that I do need them and then they're dirty or thrown in the trash or whatever. So we're gonna, pull this off. Okay, we're just gonna set it down here just like that. Okay, so, okay. And then that can come off. Of course, it's a completely different size. What a surprise. See, I'm being way more careful than I was with the uh, Porsche. Of course, that's all a bunch of junk that was getting taken. Wow, there is a lot of oil in there. I'm very confused by that. Okay, so we can put this on. I believe it's 18 foot pounds, but I'm gonna double check before I tighten it down. I emailed myself like 20 different emails and e the headline in each email is the foot pounds. Um, so, Okay, so I'm gonna need a 12 millimeter um, with a torque wrench, but initially we can just, probably smart to torque them down, or not torque them, but to run them in by hand. And this thing is like captured on it. I feel like that's gonna make my life difficult because it's gonna bind every couple turns. Hopefully this adds a little pressure. God damn it, I'm getting a phone call. Shit. Okay, I thought that was a bad phone call, but that was actually a good phone call. Uh, our friend Brandon, who in the previous video was the mechanic with the life-saving finger sander, even though my air tank sucked, he's on his way. We're gonna get some food, and then we can go to the store, and I mean, I'll have to buy it again, but get some assembly lube, get some supplies to clean up all this nasty gasket shit they left me to deal with. Um, so we might actually be able to finish the engine, like legit finish the engine, um, tonight. So, uh, okay, I need to check the torque spec before I put torque on it. Well, I don't think it'll show my name as long as I don't open the email. Okay, so this is 18 foot-pounds. 
So that's 15, 16, 17, 18. And I always go one extra because I this torque wrench is kind of shitty. So what we want to do is, I mean, there's really no like, you know, ceiling surface or anything to worry about on this, but you at least want to use some common sense, you know, and snug it down evenly. Man, it's really... You know what I just realized? Holy shit. Shit, something's not right about that. I have to pull this gear off, so that means this has to, and also this is, scaring me because it's not tightening. Threads aren't damaged, so why wasn't it tightening down? Unless it was still just smashing this plastic ring in here. It's very confusing. Oh, I see. Some kind of. Oh, there's Brandon. So Brandon's here. He brought me a uh, valley pan cover, knock sensors, windage tray, some other stuff on the way. So um, Brandon, I kind of screwed up. So I was checking the torque on these. So these are 75 foot pounds. All good. So I go to check these 25 foot pounds. I forgot to reset the torque wrench. Idiot. No, no, no. Hold on. And I turned this one an eighth of a turn before I realized it. And so I stopped, I loosened it, and then I torqued it back down. So do I need a new head gasket or am I all right? You'll be fine. Okay, it's just this one. Just, I, I, it was started turning and I was like, that can't be right. You should be fine. Yeah, but this was loose from the engine builder. Really? Yeah, so I'm glad I checked it. Yeah, it's good that you checked it. Um, so what I was doing is uh, I need to go rent a pooler for this timing gear you're supposed to use, I guess, like a three jaw puller yeah. and have, you know, this in here and everything. But what we can do right now is take the cam out mm -hmm. and then we'll have to go get our assembly lube and dinner and stuff. And then we can put the cam in or no, no, wait, no, I need to turn the engine upside down first. Yes. Right. To keep the lifters from falling into the galley. Okay, let me let me get this plate off and then I'm trying I've watched the same YouTube video for each step in the process like 10 times and I'm still struggling to keep up with it. Uh, there's stars, torques. I hope these torques can even handle this. It's probably a T40. Haha, <laughs> T40. Oh man. I need an extension. Try to make myself a little workspace over here with like a clean bench and, you know, trying to be at least halfway professional. Although some of the videos I watched were some of the nastiest, dirtiest. It's like, how the fuck does that motor even survive after being in that environment? You know, like. You'd be surprised. <laughs> yeah, you guys building an engine out on a driveway at 2 a.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now one of the things they said to watch out for is if the engine builder didn't replace this gasket up here, it has to be replaced. Mm. And apparently it's really easy to tell if it's flattened or not from, you know, heat exposure. It's funny, one of the videos, Comp Cams does a camshaft change, yeah. but the guy takes an impact wrench to the spark plugs to get them out. 
which does he, yeah but does he reuse them if he doesn't mm. reuse them then well i just thought it was a little a lot of people were commenting that because they're ceramic you could shatter them into the engine he could but yeah i mean it was interesting to see you know there were people who refused to use impacts no matter what like i've used it to take it apart but i'm not going to use it to put it back together well whenever you know. you're flat rate i mean <laughs> you right you gotta go yeah. go 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 yeah unfortunately your car goes out the window okay so this is a brand new seal look at that perfect nice i'm not trusting this engine builder after all the shit i've found like there was gas, this gasket material was hanging off the timing chain. That's good. I mean, how, how lazy is that? <laughs> now the cam, they say to spin it. Laura, I'm gonna turn, up, turn the engine upside down and hope it doesn't like fall. Cause I mean, look how I got it. This is the only way I could get, is that normal? That you, that the arms don't line up and shit? Like, yeah. okay, <laughs> please don't yes. fall off engine. Oh my God. You gotta be kidding. Oh my god. Okay, thank god you're here. Okay, a little more. Okay. While we're under here, we can slap your windage tray on too. Could do what? Your windage tray. Oh, you already got it? I'm pretty sure I have it, and I, ha I know I have nuts. Dude, you're a hero. <laughs> Alright, let, uh, let me cover that up. Let me go. I hope the windage tray fits in the oil pan. If it doesn't, I mean, it's not that hard to take back off, but it'd be a pain in the dick. Okay, so now we use our cam bolts and you just thread in two bolts and then you can use them to turn the cam and it should turn nice and easy and you can Wow, it floats good. And you can basically just give it a good turn, make sure nothing's in the way. Now, I'm gonna pull these bolts back out. Yeah, that'll fit no problem. That's way smaller than I thought. Okay, but he only gave me eight because his computer said eight and he, the computer lied. So I need two more. Oh, um, oh, you know what? One of them is for the pickup tube, okay. so that's probably why. I don't know if I have that bolt. But we can use generic bolts. I mean, yeah. it's a windage tray. It's not going to destroy the motor, right? Or are they no. special? These are actually lock. They're the lock. They're nylocks? No. No. They are the. Uh, so they don't, like, oh, oblong. so they don't fall into the pickup tube. They're actually. Uh, do you think AutoZone would have a pack? Probably more they expensive, might. but. I know they have more of these in stock. Time is money, man. Oh, I see. So that's see like a oblong. that goes on and it stays on. Right. Okay. They're supposed to be one time use. One time use. Okay. Good to know, because we don't want to do the job twice, right? Okay, so now the fun part. Okay, well, I should say the hard part, because why isn't it coming out? Yeah, he was kind of skeptical at first, and I threw and I was like, I'm sure that there could be a sticker Whoop. going on there. And he goes, all right. <laughs> uh... Have you have you taken a cam out before? Uh, not a, an old push rod engine like that. Oh no. I've only done overhead cam. So. They made it look so Modern. easy, but obviously, you know. Okay, they used they used a big ass screwdriver to kind of guide it. I don't know if I have anything like that. Uh, maybe a, a breaker bar would fit. Oh, look at that. Okay, well. Start my cam. Might have twist. Just don't. I mean, the comp cams guy was making way more noise than this, but I do not want to fuck up those bearings. I was reading about how they work, because mm -hmm. they the oil pressure, or the right. oil, the oil pump I bought says high pressure OEM volume. Now, pressure times volume is a constant. So you can't increase pressure without increase it or decreasing volume. Whatever, it's a constant. Okay, so I looked up how they can possibly do that, and it's because the pressure is related to the oil galleys, whereas the volume is related to the flow through your bearings. 
So I can't have a higher volume pump because I have a very small pan, but I can have higher pressure to offset that problem at high RPM. So I ordered the right pump without even realizing it. Look at that, there's metal shavings on it. Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I knew engine's gonna have metal shavings. <laughs> so you can go something big. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even pull that shit because you're supposed to. I'm sure uh, the specification right here that you're supposed to change oil like after 500 miles. Yeah, I got breaking right oil. I got breaking. I got breaking oil. And if you bitch hey. about the shape, you bitch. <laughs> See, he's a mechanic, so he gets upset when you blame mechanics for doing a bad job. Because it's the engineer. Because <laughs> it's the engineer who designed it wrong. Correct. Where did my uh, cover go? Ooh. There you go. Okay, so I'm I'm hungry. Uh, all right, guys, we'll be back in a few minutes. Shit, I can't even do it. <laughs> okay, so uh, I was talk we were talking over dinner, and Brandon's like, wait, you're doing your valve springs? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, I have the most awesome valve spring tool ever. And he took off to his house to go get it. <laughs> so he's going to leave me to struggle with the cramp. Blech. Cam shaft. So we ended up going to the parts store and getting a puller for this. And we also got parts, uh, engine assembly lube. And what kind of pisses me off is Jags charges like 20 bucks for something like this. And this is eight bucks at O'Reilly's. So I'm still gonna let Jags deliver the lube that's late because I'm gonna build more engines in the future and I might as well have it. And uh, <clears throat> yeah. So this comp cam is a 0.571 lift and it's a 281 intake over, no, I'm an idiot, sorry. The intake duration is 228 or, and the exhaust duration is 230. So it's lopy, but it also has a lobe separation of 112 degrees, meaning it is a high RPM performer, just super lopy at the lows. So, <clears throat> We're going to pull it out, uh, and what we're going to do, I need to make some space, is we're going to lube it up really nice. Obviously, you don't want to drop it because I'm pretty sure this is just a cast core that they machine, considering how fairly priced it was, I do not think it would be a billet core, so, <clears throat> and it, uh, man, it has no oil on it at all, that's probably because of shipping restrictions, so, now, you can't, it's hard to tell the difference, normally it's hard to tell the difference between, uh, a performance cam, uh, an OEM. In this case, I can actually see that these lobes over here are pointier than here because this has a much longer duration. It's actually more noticeable than I really thought it was going to be. But anyway, so we want to kind of... Okay. And then... And you got to cut it open. <clears throat> I think I just sent that under my, oh, there we go. Okay. Um, okay. And so we wanna make sure we apply plenty of assembly lube. So, oh, okay, that was way more than I expected. And that, and that, and that, and that, and that, there there and you're supposed to apply like a thin film so we got to come back and smooth all this down the last thing we want is this thing to not have any lubrication when it fires for the first time granted you can crank it over without the fuel pump running to kind of help push oil through it but that only does so much so this stuff is super super critical so now, I can kind of come back and I'll do the top side and then I'll have to hold it in my hand 
and try and get the bottom side. I mean, I can like roll the lobes, so that's that's not a big deal. It's the the bearings surfaces that are gonna um, be an issue, I think. So, but. And you don't want to use so much of this that you would end up like clogging an oil, um, you know, like a little oil tube. Because some of the oil tubes, like the ones in the, uh, um, the ones in the push rods are really small. And the last thing you want is to get some gunky shit in there. So, and we're just gonna lube it up. Trying to get as much of this shit all around that we can in order to and I think I've got it kind of thick but again you can crank the engine over without the fuel to help get everything going so Uh. <clears throat> okay. So, man, I think I used way too much of this shit. I'm gonna lift it up from one side and just start kind of spreading it all around. Try and get a little thinner film layer. This cam's really well done. There aren't any sharp edges. There aren't any burrs. <laughs> Brandon's reaction when I was complaining about metal shavings on the camshaft. <laughs> okay. point of this stuff is to you know kind of stick on during the assembly and make sure everything is uh right so okay this one's gonna be a little harder because it's the where we gotta go okay so we can actually literally just pick this cam up with our hand and then we want to start really carefully sliding it in and it's not gonna you know, wow, I'm actually, whoop, okay, now I see why the comp cams guy was making so much noise, because it kind of tricks you, it's like, oh, it's supported, and then it falls, falls off a bearing, and then it's like, oh, nope, I'm not supported now, okay, which explains why he had the uh, tool, um, which is over there, I messed that up. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, now we're pretty much have to have that tool um, to get it in the rest of the way. So, um. <laughs> this stuff's actually, I like it. It's sticky, but it's a really thin film once you. Um, I like this stuff. A little smelly. Okay. See, I need more trash cans. I have a trash can here. There's supposed to be a trash can there, but it's full of coolant right now, which I still haven't figured out how to properly dispose of. It's gonna be, I have a feeling that's gonna be a huge pain in the ass. Okay, so now we use this. And this is like the perfect size. And so you want to put pressure up because this cam is going to drop just like that. Oh boy. And we're in. Look at that. I think, is that Brandon already? 
That was fast. Okay. <clears throat> Guess I shouldn't say that. He drives very slow and proper. <laughs> very slow. Okay. I'm gonna polish my rod here. So. So uh, what do you think about, I just literally just finished getting the cam in. Fast or slow? It's decent. <laughs> that means you're fucked hard. That's just like, call <laughs> but I got it like super hella coated in this stuff and I got it in there. <clears throat> so now flip the engine back over or do we want to? It's up to you. We can go ahead and put the windows tray on. Let me, uh... So that way it's kind of, kind of protected. That's a good point. For undercarriage. Let me, uh, let me torque this okay. cover on. That way the cam won't fall out while we're working. <clears throat> now, this is supposed to have a little oil on it, right? Like, yeah, okay. I need the bolts. And where'd the T40 go? Fuck, dude, I I knew this was gonna become a mess fast, but I, it should already be attached to a wrench because it's the last one we used, right? Remember how you were bitching about someone working in chaos? Here's that cool tool. Yeah, so I was just saying you ran off to get So, it's actually so you features. just you just smack it with a hammer this and your valve is smack out. With a hammer? and it basically compresses the spring mm -hmm. and then your keepers are sucked up in here and then your retainer stays in here as well. So you can pull the whole thing off and then this is used to reset your keepers and... That's pretty crazy. I wonder, you think it'll work with the dual? That's... That's the test. Yes, that is the test. I've used it on OEM setups and it's fine. Yeah. It works awesome, but I don't know about the dual. We will see. Yes, we will. That's why I bought the, uh, the BFH. Oh yeah, I don't even have one of those. I'm glad you thought about it. I need one. I need a dead this blow. This really isn't that big. This is a two pounder. I have a three pounder. I mean, this is pretty overkill, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I got the plan. Bought three of them, got three panels. This, this red one. Oh, that's how you know way. Yeah. You know what's cool? That engine crate, I could probably just dump, literally just dump the Porsche engine in it, and that would be a really easy way to get it out of here. It's too small for that massive boxer engine. Hey, uh, this bolt doesn't look like it's seating right. Is that, am I just paranoid? See how it's kind of... Just paranoid. Okay. So just snug them by hand, and then I think the torque spec is 15 foot-pounds. I'm gonna check real quick. So use this one actually the same way. All right, so it's 18 foot-pounds. That should be simple enough. See if we can, uh... it's already set on 18 foot-pounds, so that's good. Not really. <clears throat> hmm? That's not really good. Should've been zero. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I was just using it, man. Give me a break. Come on. I know, I know. <laughs> you probably don't even use a torque wrench. What's a torque wrench? What they make impacts for. <laughs> you could probably assemble an engine. I bet race mechanics do it because they don't have the time to fuck with it. Okay. That scares me when it turns that much. You know what I mean? Like you think you're gonna break it? Yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh no. The uh, the timing chain dampener was doing that earlier, and I actually stopped. 
because I was like, this is turning way too much. Okay, um, so now we can flip the in Oh, no, we gotta do, okay. Damn it, I gotta look up the torque spec for that real quick. So, what a surprise, it's 18 foot-pounds. Well, actually, we might have to do that after the... Or we could just leave this one off for the pickup tube. Yeah. Which one was it? You said that it was that one, but I, this one's Well, out. this is custom, so who knows? Uh... Uh-oh. Goes like... Oh, shit. Like this, maybe. Or like this? I have no idea. I think it's that one. No? Oh, fuck, I have no clue. I don't know which side. Do you want to wait until we put the oil pump on? Can. Yeah. We might as well wait, because I don't know. This thing's so custom. I don't know which way it goes. I'm just glad he included everything I needed, the mesh and the gaskets and all that. Okay, uh, do you wanna... So I just have to support... Which way are we going, this way? Yeah, sure. Ugh, Mr. Muscles. <laughs> you make me look like such a pussy. <laughs> okay, so now... Uh, we'll leave the push rods out for the time being. Okay. Um... So, I guess we can do the timing, right? Uh, here, we need to get that off. Uh, it's a big 24. It's so fresh and so clean. I know, I just wish the gasket services were clean because I hate fucking with shit like that. I need another one of these bolts. Mm -hmm. I'll have, probably have to have you order it because we'll destroy this one seating the damper because I don't have an original and then you're supposed to start over with a new one. So that kind of sucks, because this was like, it wasn't, it, it wasn't mm, reasonable, I would say. Oh, where is that thing? Shit. 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 Okay, now the goal is not to screw up the crankshaft. <laughs> Do what? Oh, dude, this thing might not even be... We maybe should have gone with the bigger one. No. Yeah, look. Yeah. Look. Look, that's fine. You think that's enough? Yeah. Why is it not enough? <laughs> Fuck. Are you going the wrong ass way? What do you mean? Hold on, what are you... One second. I don't think that is long enough to get to the back. Mm. I have a solution. Uh, use the crank bolt to cover that, but then it won't be centered. We could do that though. Mm -hmm. Shit. Oh boy. It's fine as long as you watch it. Let me back this gal out. You want to use the wrench for that? The air, or not the air, but it's probably. Nope, motherfucker, is it? It's a it? half inch or 13. <laughs> Halfway there. Okay. We're gonna need to go. Son of a... Why is this one flipped? Oh boy. Fuck, I flipped that one. That's a jank thing. Uh, this one might not even work. We probably... Or, even better, do you have a socket we can throw down in there? <laughs> or something to space it out? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. See? The question is, what would be the correct size? Cause it would have to hold that, right? Well, we need we need to fit. Ooh, that's close. Hopefully, it comes back out. Oh shit, I yeah, need to get that's this. The issue. Yeah, that's the issue. 
is they eventually stop shrinking. So if that's a nice whip fit, that one's not fit. Oh no, really? Mm -hmm. Fuck. Told you. Okay. Um, don't. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. What you about what about this? What about this? Yeah, put an extension and it'll be half that center too. <laughs> nope, the other way. Oh, there's a magnet wand. Uh, no, you're right. It'd be better to have it c centered. Yeah, you're right. That would center it. Look at that. Afro ingenuity. Holy shit, how deep is that gonna go? That goes deep. Oh no. <laughs> That's good. That is what you want. That is what you need. Alright, we need your impact again. Tell me if anything goes wrong, okay? Fuck, how deep is it? All right, hang on. Now we're starting to get tension on it, okay. which is good. It's just easy? Yeah. Are we, well, we're close. We're very close to getting tension completely on it. All right, now we're completely. I can't see how you would not destroy this thing when you're taking, I guess it's a one-time thing, right? So just crank on it or what? Uh, I would prefer you not use an impact on yeah, it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, I'm just a guy. <sighs> I got such a mess up here. Yeah, the impact could fuck up the crank, right? Cause it's shake it. Ooh. It's good, it's coming. Oh man, that probably because they just put it on, so we got lucky. It wasn't like fucking it rusted doesn't, yeah, it doesn't or rust and doesn't yeah, dime and everything else. That's really lucky. It's still a, oh. there it is. Okay. Shipping. All right, that was a good. Does it have a key? Yes, it does. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I'd... it will not come out. Look at that. <laughs> Quick connect. See, I'm an engineer. <laughs> Fucking engineer here. I'll let you deal with that while I try and find the Cloy's kit, wherever the fuck it is. Comp, comp, comp. Jigs. Jigs what? What is it? Uh, nope, that's the timing chain cover, which I don't even have a sensor. What is this? Gaskets, I think. Where the fuck is it? Oh, it's right here with the giant Cloy's logo with a gear symbol. I'm intelligent. Look, it has a gear symbol on it. Yeah. Mies. Oh, oh, that was close. Doesn't look any... See the the picture it was like golden. It kinda Wow they tig tig weld or they laser welded that. That's legit. Okay, so this yes. Okay, so the trick was to use this to push that on. Yeah. Which is this will have to be a sacrificial bolt since we're going to be using it for it is. fuckery. That's not enough threads. Fuck. It's do not you, even half a thread. Do you have... Oh. A sock. I don't have a... Th oh, I have a 32 mil socket in the um, one of those drawers. It might be a half inch. I don't remember. Where's the... Uh, Oh, fuck. Let's see if this is big enough. I just, Rip. why is, where's the timing mark on this? Son of a bitch. Right here. Right here. Wait, what is that? There's only one way this can go on. Did we spin the crank on accident? You spun it taking that out, I'm pretty sure. 
Okay, all right. Uh, we're going to have to be really careful when we redo the yeah, timing. Yeah, you're going to have to. Yeah. You always check timing. Yeah, is that not big enough? No. Fuck. I don't know what else to do then, because that's all we got. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here, get a, uh, get my rubber mallet out of there. Now I'm thinking like a mechanic, just beat the fuck out of it. Is it on the yeah. key? Okay. What did you call it, a uh, keeper? Is that another name for a keyway or? Yeah, yeah. So this is okay? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> your face, yeah. <laughs> That's all I got. Here. <laughs> Watch out. I'm just afraid to hit step, it. Step, step over here. Uh. <laughs> Oh, hell. All right, now let's finish driving it with the... Okay. I hate you, by the way. Really? <laughs> 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 wasn't that difficult. Yeah, and... I mean, it was really difficult. I just wish I had the right socket. Oh, well. I guess it'll keep me from over-torquing the thing. It's gonna turn the engine over is what it's gonna, fuck. It looks like it's on there, on there though. Okay, what you need to do. And if it's not, putting the damper on will seat it. Or no, cause the oil, I don't, I don't have any way to lock the crank. Um, we could use the impact. We can use the impact. That's the only thing I can think of. That's what they did on the comp cams thing. They used an impact yeah. to. That's how at Honda we do. Put new ones in. <clears throat> oh really? Yeah. Just. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> All right, we're done. Yeah, if that's not seated, then. Okay. I hate the friction ring on this fucking thing. The hog ring? Yeah, it has a hog ring instead of a ball. I think it's fucking retarded. It's supposed to be race course style. Okay. Oh, well, shit. We need, we need to turn. We need this so we can turn the crank. I didn't really think about that. So we need to get our timing marks lined back up. Yep. Is it supposed to be that hard to turn the engine? Does that sound right? Mm -hmm. Online they made it look so easy, it kind of makes me feel like shit that it's this hard. That's straight up. Okay, so now... I'm not gonna lie, you couldn't even beat this fucker on, so... I kind of wish... I'll probably have to brush some oil onto this, because... Or sim You're heat. supposed to soak it. You know, like soak, soak it in oil, but I'm... So, I think, well, I gotta get the cam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Help, uh, where did, uh, what are you looking for? Uh, oh. I'm a little disappointed. I thought this kit was supposed to come with, oh, maybe I have an ARP package. God, who knows where, fuck. I swore it was supposed to come with new bolts. Okay, so the timing mark is right. Well, that wow, that's kind of jank. Two bolts? Man, that's a little loose. Oh, we gotta get the chain on. <laughs> I'm, t I'm lining it up. Yeah, hold on. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check online after this to see if they sent me the, you know, everything they were supposed to. Okay. I'll put that on there. And then, yeah, the chain is 
dry as fuck. Okay, and then put it there. And then... Nope, that's not right. One tooth. Oh man, I just gotta go half a tooth. There we go. There we go. I got a socket here for that. Oh, those are tens, aren't they? Okay, let me get the torque spec. Okay, so uh, before we like tighten, tighten that down, I'm gonna look and see if they dumped those new bolts somewhere else because I could have swore it was supposed to come with new bolts. Okay, that's the trunnions. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, that's trunnions, dual valve springs, timing cover, here, uh, valve spring compressor, which I don't need anymore, performance oil pump, push rods. So either they didn't ship yet, or I got screwed, or I wasn't paying attention when I ordered the kit. Hey, hey. Ooh. Okay. Oh. There's your valley cover. Valley cover. And it came with a gasket, now that's cool. And it came with the rubber stuff for the uh... It's like Christmas. Yeah. What is Plastic. that? What is that even f oh, for oiled? What? Breather. Oh, is that the replacement for the steam vents on the LS1s? Sure. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's it. what it is. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Hey, there's a bolt in here though. Oh, it came out of the... Okay. Uh... Top right. Well, the weird thing is, is apparently there's supposed to be a gasket that goes between the, well, you, you put the knock sensor in and then there's a gasket that goes on top and then you plug it in. I wonder how hard it's going to be to get that gasket. Okay. So, right, 25 foot pounds. So... torque it down yet actually. I forgot about that. Okay, hold on. 20, 25, okay. Well, they actually said to turn the engine over a couple times just in case there's anything weird going on. So basically, you know, to make sure that they're mm -hmm. still in line when you come yeah, back so, yeah. around. Actually, <sighs> perhaps would be a good That's... time. With your noggin. <laughs> I don't have one of those. Okay. Want to rip tighter chip? Okay. Yeah, that's lined up. Let's go around a couple more times to get that stuff worked in. 
probably hard to turn because there's no oil on the sleeves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're just raw dogging it. Yeah, okay. That's not the best idea. Yeah, let's not do that anymore. <laughs> Get it back to in time. Just raw dogging it. Yeah, it's timed. Okay. So 25 foot pounds. You can't really star pattern a triangle. No, it's, yeah, it's just, just a circle. circle. <laughs> Are you enjoying this? <laughs> Not <laughs> I want to see how one of these fucking engineers puts his own goddamn engine back together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we can do the valves, right? Mm -hmm. Is it the next logical step? Yeah, because we can't put the rods in the rock. The rockers are going to be a pain in the dick to push all those bearings out. Dick bang. I got that. Yeah, that's we could use it for out, but probably not back in. Because it probably... You don't think that would crack a rocker? Well, I guess you should have to be careful. Yeah, you can use your old. Okay, and there should be a tool in there somewhere. Oh. Okay, so we're going to try this. I hope to God that we don't end up with an air compressor in our ears the whole time. See, that's, that's the problem is we're going to have this minute amount of leak, and that thing is pretty small. Do you think it's going to leak? James. <laughs> James. Oh, shit, I almost threw that in the coolant. Christ. Boy, there are gaps in your rings. They don't line up, but they do have gaps. Oh. You know what else? Can you, uh, uh, I don't have a fitting. Will this work? They didn't even send me a fucking fitting. Look at that. Yeah, because everyone's just different. It's so <laughs> stupid. Yeah, if it's in the fitting, then you'd probably bitch because it'd be the wrong one. <laughs> you watch too many of my videos then. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try this. Hopefully it doesn't leak and where do you want to start? Here? Yeah, that's fine. Hopefully the valves don't leak. <laughs> that would be Yeah. Can you help me wrap my tool? <laughs> ah. Nope, this is heavy, this is heavy. Okay. And that's on camera, fuck. <laughs> ah. What? Hey, uh, you want to buy a comp cam? It's brand new. I give you fake hundreds. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Where am I going to put this fucking thing? On the shelf. 
My shelves are full. <laughs> Stack it. <laughs> here, I'll put it over here. Oh, yeah. That's a great place. <laughs> That's a great place. <laughs> uh, I need to get rid of the... Uh, here. Here, I'll, I'll pull a switch on those two here. I already dropped them once. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, it's a fancy uh, jewelry box. How do you even make it through life? How do you open, like, food? <laughs> <laughs> Why hand you a fucking bag of cheese and you, like, rip the bottom of it? <laughs> You're such a dick. <laughs> No, that's true. Yeah, I know, but still. Fucking rip the bottom apart. Yeah. Mm, those are nice. Oh, I did drop them earlier. That's not gonna hurt them, is it? No, you'll be alright. You'll be alright. It was either that or step on the cat. Almost stepped on the Stomp cat. The yeah, cat. I almost. Stomp <laughs> the cat. Oh yeah. Nobody buy anything from me if it says comp cams on the box because it's not a comp. <laughs> it's a cop out. <laughs> okay, let's see how long this lasts for. You gotta be kidding me. Are you fucking kidding me? It's not supposed to have that much blow by, is it? Fuck me. That was blowing out the piston. There's no way that's going to do it then. If it I told you. Well, what are we going to do? You chop. So we're giving up on this. No. I need an air compressor. Give me a fucking rope and I will show you the No, way. I mean we're giving up on the air compressor. That's what I meant. Yeah. I don't right. have a rope. Make one. <sighs> Shoestring. I don't care. I don't care what it is. I need some Fuck. device that I can fit in that hole. And a lot of it. <laughs> We're decent enough. Hell, this garage, right here. Can I borrow this? Yeah, you can use I'll get a new one. Can I just cut it then? Well, untie it. <laughs> or yeah, I'd, I'd... <sighs> it's faster to cut it. Here, mister, open a bag upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the Boy Scout way here. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, watch out. Liars. Mm -hmm. Till they rip off and smack me in the face. But this is gonna work great. I'm so glad that you have these garage doors so you can rob parts <laughs> off of them. <laughs> Next, we're gonna rob a bearing, right? Well, hell, oh, this will work. It'll still be good. This is still gonna be good. Uh, no, time. it'll be soaked in oil. No, thank what you. Oil? There's no. I'm gonna. Oil. I'm just gonna get a new one. I'll just get a new rope. And the best part is... I don't like the rope because it's too long anyway. The fibers will burn right off. Sweet. All right, you two. Okay. <laughs> Basically, you got to fish this into the hole. We're going to fish as much as we can into the hole. This is an interesting concept. Did you check and make sure the piston was down first? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Look at that. We're just feeding her in. Basically what we're doing is we're filling the cylinder with the rope and then we're going to turn the engine until we feel a little bit of resistance mm -hmm. and we're going to stop. Mm -hmm. It's going to hold your valves into place. Mm -hmm. The rope being compressed by the piston. Okay. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure this one was pretty far down. Yeah. Yeah. That would be right. This one should be all the way down. I'm gonna let you turn the engine. Make sure you leave enough room to pull the rope out, too. Oh fuck! Otherwise, I could see, I could see that being a, a problem to try and fish it out. Then you're taking. How is it place. taking that much rope? This is all the way down. Do you realize how big these fucking cylinders are? No. They're large. Five point three liter aluminum block. Okay. So now that we fish. A considerable amount of rope down <laughs> Almost all of the rope. Okay. Okay. 
we will spin the engine. Okay, now I feel resistance. Hmm. I'm gonna stop. I'm You're gonna, gonna stop. Going. You're not gonna crush it. No. Okay. Basically, it's it's going to be solid now. Okay. So now we do we tap tap the seats to break them loose, or do we just go for it? You just go for it. Just go for it. Okay. I'm gonna take so, my handy dandy tool. This is a Lyle tool. L I S. -L Ooh, I like that cut. That they have exhaust hanger pliers that are fucking legit. Okay. So now okay. take this big daddy. Okay. Put it right there. Oh, we got one. No Me way. Too. That's so much easier than screwing a keeper down and... Yeah, and look, there's your keepers. Why the fuck did nobody online have this? Because they're not as cool as I am. <laughs> okay, well, we gotta, we gotta start making room for... So just put all the old shit... Well, let me get a towel, but we're gonna put all the old shit in here. All the keepers, all the seats. Okay. I think this came with new seats. Seals, yes, which is gonna be a pain in the dick if they didn't provide a tool. The hardest part about using this is getting, getting them back out. I got little tiny needle nose. Well, here, I got needle nose. You, just take a screwdriver. I got it. you got it? All right. And see, notice how your valve is still up. It hasn't fallen at all. And then I have to replace both of those parts. Seals? Uh, I have to, I think. Why do you have to? Because it comes with new retainers. Right? Huh? It comes with new valve seals. No, 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 look. Yeah, new got, seals, new, new keepers, seals. new seals. Wow. Well, I think they're made for the dual springs, because look, they're different. Are they? They're no, way... I, I know, we're going to... This is getting replaced. I'm, I'm talking confused. about these. Wait, wait, wait. These you don't have seals. to have them? No. I thought it was a clearance issue. No? Here, where's the, or bigger. where's the old shit? Got brand new ones. What do valve seals, what's the seal on the top for just to, this, this is your so it doesn't seal. blow out when the valve opens, I guess, right? Yeah, okay. it's a seal those on are, your valve. You think those look new? Those are brand new. <laughs> brand new, okay. Um, here, uh, here, knife. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Keepers. Sometimes it takes a few whacks, sometimes it only takes one. <laughs> sometimes Similar. it takes a minute, sometimes it takes five. Similar to other No, see it comes with new seats too. Ooh. Yeah, see that's why I'm thinking... I'm pretty sure they're stronger if that makes sense. Yeah. No. Here's throw all the shit down here. It's kind of cool how those keepers work. That's really smart. You don't have any screws or bolts or clips or any stupid shit. Yeah. Too bad we don't have more rope. Oh. So shiny, so new. Out of here, get it out. So stuck. Is there a top or a bottom? Mm, should be. I think so. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Here's your destructions. Protect your invest. Oh, you got a comp cam sticker. Uh, you can have it. Yes. So the qu oh, you know what we do? Look. Yeah. It's got a flat one. seed instead of a uh, take. Uh -huh. Fuck. Uh -huh. So how do you get Ooh. those? What? Yeah. No. I'm talking. This this goes up top. Oh, that goes up top. This goes on the bottom. And this and flat. it's different. It's way different than. How is it? See, it doesn't have that oh, tapered. Yeah. Ah. So now, how do we get the seals out? That's the fun part. Do you have any needle nose vice grips? The hell is that? Show me. Show me. All I got is these or these? these? These. These are needle nose vice grips. Needle nose okay. vice grip. Okay. <laughs> Please. Please teach me. <laughs> basically, basically, you're destroying these. Which is fine, because we got new ones. Mm. Yeah, I can see that. They're a complete dick pain to get off. I'm telling you this now. Basically. Oh, 
You're well, lucky they're brand, they're they're new. brand new. Yeah. Oh, it's Go all ahead one and unit. Toss them down. That. That's that's great. If you get a one, if you, <laughs> you get sound old, so excited. If you get an old engine, yeah, good luck. Because you have to like wiggle and you damn near end up cutting the valve seal off. Okay. Okay. So what this what that seal is for is to prevent blow by when the valve opens. Is all it's for, right? Mm -hmm. So that goes on there. Correct. And we don't need any kind. Do we need assembly lube on this stuff? Because the valve springs spin or. And then we need now those but we actually I will need some oil or some oil in order to put these on. And then we need some like a socket that's the right size, right? Correct. Shit, I don't have a tool to to what? To what? How do you press it on? What do you mean? You just push it on by hand? With a socket. You grab your socket that's close to the same size. Okay, nice. here's your here's your lube. You want me to just Yeah, lube the shaft. That's all I want you to do. <laughs> It's more of a patience job than a difficult job, I feel like. Now, which... It's not rocket surgery, it's just engine surgery. Uh, which um, size socket? Do you want a deep well or a regular? Deep. Deep, deep, deep. Here we go. It needs to fit like... Uh, too big? A little bit bigger, actually. Bigger? So I want to hit just the outside edge, and it's going to kind of deform it, but it's going to be okay. Is the socket clean? I've been... It's rusty, but... <laughs> okay, so... Basically, this goes... This goes on pretty easy. Well... Wait, I think we there. should use a smaller than that. Oh, that's... No, 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 no. You want to hit just the outside edge. The outside edge? Yeah, because you don't want to hit the actual seal, because oh. it just collapses. Oh, You have to hit fuck. this outside edge. Okay. Yeah, it's a... Wait. It's just chill, just uh, I chill. I thought you weren't supposed to use a hammer. Why? Who, who said this? The internet. <laughs> They'll probably bitch at me in the comments and I really don't care. from the Porsche. Fuck. We'll be uh, all right. Contaminants are okay. Shit. Here, let me let me see that socket real quick. Like, you shouldn't do that. You did that wrong. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. I mean, as long as you're not beating on it, I, I can't see it damaging it. I feel like they're just, it's someone's like, bam, and then, oh, why did it crush this? <laughs> That's cute. Should I wash that socket or just... I wish I had an air compressor <laughs> to blow it out. So how can you tell when it's seated? Basically, you can kind of feel it get solid. In the seal, there's nothing like that. I'm still confused by what the seal does, honestly. I mean, I get it, but I don't. I'm assuming it wouldn't hurt to wash all this with oil before actually filling the oil pan, right? Like No, it wouldn't. Probably remove some of your shavings. All right, so basically, that's solid now. Mm. So we're good on that one. Cool. That tool that they had where they, they put like a little ring here and then use a, 
really a little press. Yeah, but this is I didn't really, thing. yeah, I didn't really think ahead. You know how it changed sounds? Yeah, that's how you know it's seated, right? Because it's... Yeah, and you want to, I mean, you can tap on a little bit, but you don't want to go crazy. Yeah. yeah. So is that, is that still supposed to move? What? That? Yeah. Well, your, your retainer, your spring is going to hold that down. So what is this even sealing? The stem to the... Yes. The bigger stem? Yes, because... God, okay, it's so you... confusing. <laughs> it's so confusing. Look down here. You see how it's kind of chamfered? Yeah, it's got a little seal on yeah. it. Yeah. So basically, it seals your... Your... Um... Mm. Damn it. No, I know what you're trying to say. It seals it. It's a seal. Seal, yeah. It seals it. That's all I need to know. It's necessary and it seals it. Okay, I got two of these. And I feel like losing one of these would not be a good day. Ooh, they're pre-oiled. Nice. 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 Okay, so how does your magic tool work to put them back on, especially with such a high force spring? So basically, you're going to put your... Move this little trash out of your way. These. Okay. So you set this little dude right here. You're going to make sure that it's centered. Mm hmm. You can see that centered, mm. and plus your spring is going to naturally center. And you're going to take your keepers and set them in here. You got to kind of set them at the same time, but if you, there. So you notice that the keepers uh, stay because yeah. they're chamfered. That's their design. So this applies pressure to those keepers. So when you smack this with a hammer, it basically allows the keepers to move but it'll seat them in. No way. That's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Now these, I'm not sure how well it's gonna work due to the nature of them being Very, completely huge. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it didn't even come close. Holy shit. Really? No. That is not good. I got the tool tool. See, that is the issue with <laughs> An OEM setup, it's fine. Yeah, because they're... That's they're, what I was afraid of. Here. That I wasn't able to press. Okay, well, anyways, the tool works really good for OEM setups. It does. I mean, shit, just taking them off, it saves tons of time. Yeah. Finally starting to look like a real workshop. Yeah. Do you need the instructions? <laughs> I'm right. Who knows? Yeah, so. You gotta do both valves at the same time. Yeah, I see that. This is kind of loud. Where's the, uh, it's what, see, I'm assuming the reason why people weren't using your tools because putting them back on is a pain in the dick. My, oh, I see. I see how guess. this operates. Wait, is this the new one? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. We got fucking washers and washers. Here, you can use this, uh, what size are those? You can... I-13. Man, I got sockets everywhere. I need to... This, like this. Try that. This. On top of this. Nope, not it. It's bigger. So it's not in 12. 13, 13. <laughs> that 12 was just sitting there. So this one's really weak, so, mm. so it ain't gonna hurt nothing. It'll be quicker.
Uh, this doesn't have a... Oh, we're gonna need a deep 13, aren't we? I need a deep... Yeah. Yeah, I need a deeper. Uh, and it is, of course... Oh, there it is. See how this does? Yep. Goes like that. It's a pretty nice tool for how cheap it was. I see. We're supposed to jam nut it on down there. Oh no, what? We're supposed to jam nut it on that. So that way. It doesn't, doesn't back out on you. Oh, okay. Oh, that's even cool. Hmm. It's got a little Allen. Oh, so you can. Mm-hmm. Mm. I feel like it would have been better if they had just welded the stud onto it. That would have made way more sense to me. <laughs> right? Engineers. I guess if you have to replace this though, then you're screwed. But for yeah. ten bucks or however much it was, I don't see. Do you want to? Uh, sure. Yeah. What the fuck did I pick up the wrong? What the hell is that? <laughs> okay, okay. I, what I, are you doing? I, uh, where to? Where is it? Where is it? Right here. Somebody was hogging it. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I'm not sure if this is actually the proper use, but it looks like the proper use. It is. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is. I was watching, watching, watching no, videos. That's a complete guess. Okay. Oh, look at that. Are they centered? Uh, a little off. Yeah. It might. It's just gonna push the keeper out, right? It was yeah. not gonna like. I'm going to hold them with my fingers. Uh, it's kind of putting up a fight. Still. Still? Uh. You gotta be kidding, right? No, keep going. We're so close. Okay, I guess. Yeah. These. This one slid down. That's our problem. Get out of there. Get out of my swamp. Uh, where's your magnet tool? Uh, what'd you do with it? I didn't do with it. Did I? Did I move it? Nope. There it is. Got it. Brandon. Maybe. This keeper fell a little far. There we go. Got him. Ooh, it's kind of, it's off center as fuck though. Look at that. That's probably why it's not going in. Damn you. We just fell right back where it was. <laughs> They're pretty shitty magnet. I would say. Harbor Freight. Yeah, that's way the fuck off center. Holy shit. Do you have a wrench or a... Okay, that's... Hmm. Well, it's tied up against there now. Oh, yeah, I was wondering why it was acting weird. Well, um, I'm trying to think of the best way to... Oh, oh you're right. It's just because it's off-center. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So, oh, got it. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to set... Okay, so we're going we're gonna to take a wrench to take it back off. Okay. So that way it's not so fast. It's and it's control. jerking it all over the place. Don't want to jerk it. At least not while somebody's in the room. <laughs> it's just awkward for both parties. Yeah. Probably don't want to use this at all, actually. Those keepers don't look like they... This one will sink up. Nice. 
Not too bad. It's too bad there's 16, 16. of them. <laughs> Those dual valve springs, the, the principle behind them is so cool. Oh, did we lose our jam nut? Yeah. That's sketch. It unjammed. Yeah, that's very sketch. Little Actually, uh, if you use it without the washer, it'll jam better. better. Yeah, I'd say ditch the washer. I don't know why they... yeah. Oh, it's for the top part. So the top part springs freely. Mm. Ah, see, see, you need an engineer one out of 10 times. <laughs> no, one out of 100. <laughs> one out of 1,000? Oh, give me a break. Okay, an engineer designs a car and they sell 100,000 of them. So one out of 100,000. How about that? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no comment needed. Okay. It's too bad we can't just pop all the valves, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Okay, so now we got it. We got to take load off the motor. This would have been way better if I had. I lost the ratchet. Right here. Oh, blending in. So we go counterclockwise? Four. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. God, those valve springs are huge yeah. compared to those. That's, <laughs> that's pretty wicked. That's going to hold the RPM. The only thing I'm going to have to worry about is lift or float, which I can't do shit about. Lift or float. Okay, now we shove this down the next hole. It's too bad we can't do the rope and the air method so we can be working on two at a top four at a time. Got enough room in that hole? No. I don't know. Let me try this one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're good. Okay. Sure it doesn't look like it wants to go in. Okay, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Alright, watch out. I'm watching. I saw it go back down. Surely. Keep going. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'm glad you thought of using the garage door rope. You know, it really isn't oily. That's weird. Thought it had oil in it. Definitely gonna flush this fucker with that oil, because I think I have 12 quarts. Go down one. Mm -hmm. Feel the resistance? Yeah, it's not moving now. Okay, it's over there. See, so yeah, I'll take them off easy. Yeah. Put them off on a different scale. That's a cool tool for sure. Yeah. Wow. I wonder what happened if you tried to do that with this, if it would work or if it would. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be kind of scary. Well, one, you have to smack it pretty fucking hard. Yeah, I think the seated force is 175 pounds. No, 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 sorry. That's the limit. 145 pounds? The engine can handle 175 seated pounds and 450 lift pounds. And I think the spring is like 135 over 410. So it's the strongest spring you can use on an OEM head. That's all you had to tell me. <laughs> that is all you had to tell me. <laughs> nice. Yeah, just dump your trash down there. Trash? These are good parts. You want them? Yeah, because I have all the LSs. You know, I could use these for the Yukon, yes. right? Yes. Well, except for the seals, but... Right. I don't know. If I'm going to build a Yukon, I might as well build it right. Build the Yukon? Yeah. Turbo towing rig, right? Oh, no? I don't know. Turbos are pretty finicky sometimes. Yeah. I don't know. God, all this is fresh. I couldn't imagine doing this to an old, like old, old engine, you know. Whew. Yeah, 
let's get some of this loop. stuff lined out. Yeah, they even had desiccant in it to keep them from getting uh, moisture on them. That's pretty, pretty high, high detail there. They look stainless. What? The two for what? The, the, the desiccant, the, the dry pack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting. I wonder if they, well, I mean, I know they have, you don't want moisture in your engine, but that's still kind of weird for something that looks like it's stainless. Sorry. Didn't have it tight. <laughs> or one of the valves trying to fall. Yeah, I can feel them. Ooh. Well, I mean, see, it does this. Oh, okay. Which is fine. But yeah. They were going a lot further. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I was like, Ooh. the air blowing by the piston, that was a normal, like that normal. Yes. Because your rings have gaps. Right, yeah, and they have a... typically, well, there's three sets of rings, but there's going to be, like, two compression... And, and then the oiling like, ring. Correct, but there's actually three on that one. Zigzag. Yes, because there's a small one up top, the zigzag, and a uh, small one up top. Oh, okay. And they all have gaps in them, so the correct. oil can get... And you're supposed to have Turtle. all of them... Okay, so there's there's technically three... There's five rings right. per, and you're supposed to have them all, the all gaps, yeah. not lined up. right. If but they are lined gaps. up, then you're fucked. Right. You <laughs> we had a dirt bike like that. It came yeah. from the factory with all the rings lined up, and it just blew oil. <laughs> it was it bad. Was it was bad. Oh, is that is that the one we were using? Mm -hmm. No, we were using the... Definitely it. Because <laughs> it's so dirty. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything I can do to help out here. I guess I can... can lube these up and drop them in right yeah uh where'd the lube go right here oh okay and my parts holder just lube the well i would yeah i don't know the last thing you want is these running dry that's for sure Probably a little much. <laughs> Is there such a thing as too much lube? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's no top and bottom on these, right? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna give them a little spin to 
get that oil. remember to you know I could probably be doing the rockers while you're dealing with this be a smart use of my time now hmm. <clears throat> are you supposed to match the rocker to the cylinder or does it not matter because the technically these are used rockers right that somebody rebuilt possibly or are they new rock I don't know you know I don't know if they use new rockers when they do a new they look clean, but I don't know how to tell if they're new or not. I just say they're new. Things are fine. So it doesn't matter what this cylinder they hasn't go with. Tested, hasn't. Ah, uh, no. Definitely not. Now, it was supposed to come with a tool to press these out. <clears throat> oh, it does have C-clips. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better. Cams. Okay. There's the tool and some more bolts. It does come with new bolts, nice. Did I? Oh no. I probably did that with the impact. That's probably what that <laughs> But I'm I have a die. If we can get the nut off, we can run a die down it. Well, that's what I'm trying to get off. Should it stuck both ways? Well, kind of. I mean, I broke it free, so I have some. Ooh. I have some movement. Could we just use a normal bolt? Like a bolt? Yeah, we could if we have one of the right pitch. Yeah, that's, oh man, I must have ate the threads off of it with the impact. Shit. It got aggressive. Shit, man, that impact's a quarter inch impact. I didn't think it had power to do shit. Fuck. That's not good. Got it? Kinda. There's a, the very bottom drawer is the tap and die set. That, that, don't need that, or that, don't need that. Ah, da, 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 da. Just make sure there's nothing special. Okay. Using a half inch driver. Be careful not to damage the rocker body. Press, during the press up, make sure the die driver and rocker arm remain straight. The factory trunnion will unseat and come out relatively easily. Whoever engineered this probably thought it, should have thought of the dumbasses using the impact on it. <laughs> Is it that bad? There's got to be a different way to do it. Is can you? Is there room to run a bolt? Is there room for a bolt head under here to run a bolt straight up through it? Or no? Shit. Uh. uh yes, yes, there is. Now we might we might be stuck for tonight because all of our hardware stores are closed, but. Oh, what about this? This probably isn't right, but no way. No. Are you, it's not right? Mm -mm. Probably it's different right, standard. Right diameter, but this is like Corsair. This is fine, bird. Yeah. Oh, well, fuck. Shit, 
for all we know, that could be standard and these are all metric. It probably is standard. <laughs> we, might, we might just have to give up on that shit for tonight. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck, I keep... Okay. Um, never actually thought I'd even use this thing. Do you know how to use this thing? Yes, I do. Yes, sir. Yeah, I know how to use a press. Give me a break. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. What sucks is it's like half ass broke free. But... It's probably stuck in between two bad threads. Okay, so we can begin popping these out, which included a tool to do it. I'm just, I apologize it's in a dark corner, but I have no intention of moving it <laughs> at this time. So we need, that's not right. Well, did it. Oh, I see. That's pretty cool. That's really cool, actually. Dude, this kit's awesome. You don't think we'll ever get enough hammer force to do it though, huh? Yeah, no. it's really fucked up. No, the, uh... man, how else could we do it? We just need a new one of those, really. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know if Buckeyes would have that though. That's the scary part. I hate how this is a two piece arm. Yeah, I what wanna, the fuck? Yeah, I think it should just be welded together. Pretty dumb. You do have a welder. Yeah, no gas. Problem with a 20 ton press is if I fuck up, then I crack my rocker. But luckily they sell one rocker if you end up being that person. You do that? Yeah. The good thing is, at least we have more work. Yes, that is very true. <laughs> Fuck, come on. Come on, pump master. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Come on. It there it goes. That's not a, that's, yeah, so we don't have to redo. Yeah, redo all that pumping. Dude, this is stupid. How the fuck? You didn't press it far enough, did you? Why did it make the pop noise? Because it just unsettled. Ah, fucking shit. <laughs> I know, before you had to go. Sure as hell acted like it busted loose. No, it fell through. I know. Keep going. Keep you going. You have to press it through the other side. 
correct? No, it's it's out. It's out. Yeah, I just literally had to touch it one more time. I don't want to beat you. It's out. Yeah. out it's just stuck because it's a magnet there you go out With the old. I like how it's magnetic that's pretty that's legit cool. somebody really thought that through huh. I think I'm gonna take them all out first and then it came with the tool? Uh, yeah it was part of, of a kit Do you want to just start a bag? Do you have a Ziploc bag? Oh, I got two old boxes of them. Because that's all I do with them is I use them for shit like that. Why? For like the the old the old bearings. Start chucking them in. It comes with new bearings and everything, doesn't it? Yep. They're still needle bearings, which a lot of people have mixed feelings about. Mm -hmm. But needle bearings are good as long as you don't blow your motor up. <laughs> it's when you blow your motor up that they become a problem. <laughs> but they have way better fric friction characteristics. This, this stupid handle, man. Actually, actually fuck this part. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right? Help me. That's a kick ass thing. Very kick -ass oh, thing. oh, sorry, you're doing a. What the hell? <clears throat> Don't judge me. <laughs> Bitch, okay. Uh, it's all nice and oiled up, too, so it should be pretty easy to put back together. And we actually have new bolts, so those bolts you can throw in the bag too if you want. Oh, okay. so, yeah, we got it. They sent us better. I think they sent us ARP brands. Nice. Possible. Hopefully that's what they are. This is so much easier with this press. The poor guy online I was watching was using his vice. It looked like such a pain in the dick. That does not sound yeah, and he was using washers instead of using this toolkit. I was like, I do not want to be that guy. I'm going to get the kit. God, that's so much easier. I could set definitely, you know, like if you don't have the press set right, I could see the rocker just shattering into pieces. <gasps> oh, your needle bearings. Ooh. Don't need them. It's a good thing I didn't start the engine. Of course, I could have just did that because of that. Yeah, you probably just did that means I want to get every single one of these out of here. <laughs> Don't want one of them rolling around. Yeah. Are they in there? Clean as a whistle. See, that's why needle bearings are so bad if the engine blows you, up. Yeah. But they're good for friction. You know, the oil gets in there easier and shit. You know what, I might have had it, oh, I hope I didn't have it. No, because it wouldn't let me put it in upside down, would it? I hope not. This is so easy. I actually feel like I'm a mechanic. I'm not, but I feel like it. <laughs> I'm not either. Yeah, my ass. I'm not. <laughs> I just paint cars, I don't like that one. That is a little concerning, that needle bearing exploded like that. It's okay. Uh-oh. 
there's my tool. Oh yeah, sorry. That magnet makes a big difference too. Just have to figure out how to organize these tools so I don't lose them and have to buy them again. <laughs> Probably just throw them in one of those bins and just label it engine. <laughs> God, this is so much easier than the springs. Look at all these fancy tools. <laughs> Rigging used to a minimal. It's great. Oh, don't eight. tell me that. I thought we were almost done done. I was yeah, like, hey, we got eight pistons. They got eight rockers, right? <laughs> that, en like that engine would run really good. <laughs> I hope they'll go in that easy and not that's my other fear is fucking one up by pushing it in too far because I feel like this might be a little aggressive, aggressive to put them in. That's what the vice is for though, so. Yeah, see that's, I mean your oil filter would catch that but probably not until it's too late. Well, you gotta think it's gonna roll around on your head a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're just gonna kinda flop around. Not good. I can see it being catastrophic if it shavings. gets. Yeah, if it gets into a. Definitely gonna run a magnetic drain plug. <laughs> There's not already one in there. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay. Here we go. How does it feel to have your desk can? They're so soft and tender. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that Porsche, man, that thing's nasty. You just touch it and you're covered in nasty black grease. Like, ugh. I would say that it probably would have been a great investment to pressure wash it out before you even started. Too late now. Yeah, no. I wonder if those needle bearings being fucked up is from the install or if that's just how they are. And I goofed. Oh no, another one fell apart. This is the last one. For one side. Oh no. No. I'll get him. No. Wait, you said this is just number eight. Oh. Numero eight. I don't know why we don't just do this. Yeah, as long as it's clean, it's okay. No, 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 no. God, these fucking needle bearings. Which technically, like, really high quality needle bearings, the needles would be on their own little, like, keepers, but it doesn't look like this is, that's how these are made. How would you even, like, assemble this needle bearing? Like, that's another question. Witchcraft. Right? Because they're not held in with, uh, maybe they, well no, because they're not magnetic, are they? They're witchcraft. I don't know, yeah, that's what I would say. <laughs> they're the, the definition of fuck that shit. See, you're thinking of this is too much.
pretty, didn't it? You yeah. jumped. Yeah. That's all you jumped. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do this a little smarter. I'm gonna take it apart over the bag. <laughs> this one probably won't be exploded. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, with my luck. Okay. Some of them pop way easier than others. It's starting to get hard to even tighten the handle. I was looking at how these are put together. And it's gotta be like a bunch of Chinese kids. Like, well, yeah, fuck you, that shit. If you shit. look at these, that has an inner portion. This doesn't look like it has an inner portion. Wait, is it a... Well, it well the the needles are captured inside. Right, I, yeah, right, if I that makes sense. That, but this has an actual sleeve in the inside. Yeah. I don't think this does. No, they don't. That's and that, well, that's why they're an upgrade, because they have less right. friction. Oh, okay. okay, that makes sense. And I don't know how they stand to, you know, failure, but... I would assume that comp, comp wouldn't be selling them if they were a liability. Yeah, I mean they're they're junk. They're definitely, you know, and like one of the one of the options is to use solid bushings. Oh yeah, <laughs> that, just, that just sounds like awesomeness. But the the problem with solid bushings is the friction is so much higher, yeah, and they're brass, so heat. they yeah, so they wear out. I, I, I can't see solid bushings being worth it. When a roller bushing can last 100,000 miles anyway, you know, like, I mean, what? Why fuck with it? Yeah. Fuck. Uh, better uh, back up a foot. Oh, I'm oh sorry. I'm so you sorry. I'm so sorry. I warned you. I warned you. <laughs> Back up ten feet. Hey, you're the one who chose Taco Bell. I always eat Taco Bell. I know. I would always eat Taco Bell if they didn't keep discontinuing the stuff that I liked. Try that. I will. You are. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. So close to being done. So close. And then we gotta put them, put them all back together. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. That's not so simple. And a lot easier to mess up. No wonder these things bend. There's only like half of a trunnion in there. Okay. I just want to hear these things run. Oh, dude. The exhaust is going to be, I think, the most expensive part because I. Most expensive part? I can't weld. I probably couldn't even get a tack weld. <laughs> I'll let you weld. I mean, we could probably just do slip-ons and, eh, you don't think so? Yes? No? Yeah. Especially because if it's an off-road exhaust and you crush a pipe, then you unbolt it and put a new piece of pipe in. Yeah. Exactly. The problem is finding the right you know, like you can get kits with different elbows and that's going to be the hard part, I think. And then making it a true duel without having the two pipes 
probably have to band them together since they're going to be like right here down the tunnel because the tunnel's so small. Yeah. <clears throat> I wish license-free music wasn't so shitty, because then we could at least have music playing. <laughs> or you could just time-lapse it and have music playing. You could not use the music for your clip and just add the free music instead. That is true. I do, I do time lapse some stuff, but I, this stuff I want to do step by step, you know. Oh yeah, you only need to do one of them. Oh, that's true. And then just time lapse the other fifteen. Man, I I gave up putting that much effort into it a long time ago. God, I used to try to do shit like that. Like the very first one would be like bullet pointed and explained really well. And then, you know, like you said, the time lapse, da 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 da, done. But I, it takes hours to edit that. You know what I mean? Oh, that was the last one. Well, now we got to put them back together. That's not so straightforward. Okay, so to put them back together, uh, okay, I think these washers come into play. The washers? Yeah. Oh wow! It's a trap! It's a trap! It's a trap! Yeah. Holy shit! Is there anything even keeping them besides the, the sides? grease? This, yeah, the grease is what does it. Oh my god. Okay, so. <laughs> Very carefully. So it says to have the letters out. And I think you do. This one first. And you literally. See, I'm not so sure about using this big heavy press for this. Don't be scared. Just commit. Luckily, it's a nice flat. You know, Harbor Freight didn't fuck that part up. Actually, should I be using this? There we go. Or wait, would that... Am I supposed to use this to keep the... Oh, you think that's what that's for? Probably. Seems good. Seems. Seems. Your needle bearings don't just go. Yeah. Seems being the key word. <laughs> Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Because then I'll push it too far. Oh, wait. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Like that, maybe. Just realized I forgot to see if the uh, letters were on the outside of the. I'm pretty sure you did. I hope so. You had them up. You said the letters were doing good, so. I'm gonna call that good. I don't want to overdo it. Now you can actually put the turn it in and then 
Smasher homie. Yep. Oh, and these have C clips. Yeah. C clip on the outside. Yeah, they're they're over on the workbench. Here. Put the trunnion in. This workbench. They're there somewhere. Yeah, that they're they're over there somewhere. We can. Ooh, I can't use this for. I'm just gonna have to use the washer. Mm -hmm. Oh crap! I almost didn't check the. Oh, I would have been lucky there. Okay, now one one second. I have a question. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Question. Stop. 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 Whenever you go to press that, mm -hmm. is it naturally going to try to take the other one out? No, the trunnion. Oh, I see. I see. It's already smashed down. Never mind. Never mind. No, it's, it's a good question, though. <laughs> it's a good question. Oh, where's my... I'm losing my mind here. I think these will be good for high RPM because they have the direct... Now my next question. Huh? Are these washers thick enough for it to just be enough? You see what I'm saying? So that way you don't bottom out on the trunnion? Uh, Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Yeah, I, I see what you're... Uh, just thick enough. Okay. Yeah. I see what you're just saying. Trying to prevent a fuck up. Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. I'm a little more worried about the getting the washer centered on the... I feel like there's got to be a better way than this. We've only got 16 of them. <laughs> if I see it start pushing the trunnion, I'll just stop. I'm going to say these snailed it. Yeah, I, I'd say I'm GG. pretty lucky. You can feel the pressure. Yeah. Okay. And I now want to go cry in a corner. Ooh, that doesn't... That doesn't feel right at all. Were the OEM ones that hard to tilt? I think so. Oh boy. I feel like that's kind of a... Should have rolled better than that, right? I need to get some grease in there, really. This needs to go the other way. The, I, one of the things I have coming is needle bearing grease, so you just squirt it in the... and it kind of sucks, sucks itself in. in, yeah. Is that all it's used for? Wait, these have a direction? Oh shit. This is the top, I guess, right? No, well, the flat spot, I believe. The top. Is for the, the bolt? Top. Well? No? Yeah, because these are yeah. circle. Yeah. Oh, these. So it was right. I'm starting to spin. These are, uh. We don't need these. Oh, this is a very tedious. <laughs> I'll screw that up again.
what what was causing it to well it was I'm, <clears throat> I'm not real sure but it has full it's not binding anymore interesting it could just be because it's got a lack of oil too you know Man, I don't like that you have to like line this washer up. You'd think there'd be a better way to do it. Yeah. That was one of the things that everybody was talking about online is that if the washer isn't lined up, then you're totally Not lined up. There we go. That was close. How much longer this GoPro battery is gonna hold up? I only got one battery left. Okay, there you go. And next. This one doesn't bind at all. Oh no. And this one. Don't tell me it's fucked up. There's some binding. Fuck. I couldn't have pressed the bearing too far because I haven't been using anything that would do that. Yeah. Hmm. And the letters are on the outside, right? Outside, outside. Oh shit. Might end up having to replace just those. Just that one part. If, if... I'm going to set it to the side. I'm going okay. to put it in the box with them. So you know. Because this one spins completely freely. And that one has a bind. Yeah. <laughs> Getting tired. Yeah, it's nine o'clock. Holy shit, it is. Yeah, a little after nine o'clock. Oh fuck, see ya. And I still gotta upload the video or edit, not edit, but yeah. compile, upload. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. No bueno. Not good. So it said. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna call it a night then. I don't know, I'm so close to being done with some of this shit, like. Oh God, no, yeah, that's. Oops. By the time you get to bed, you were going to There, I already know. Wonder why. Interested to see if this one is going to be in a bind or not. Yeah. What do you think? Beautiful. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Which is good and bad. And I feel like once you... That one's kindly fuckered. You could try to take it and repress it. I mean, you've got the nice tool to do it. Oh, oh wow, that's in a really bad bind. What the hell could be caught? I it's mean, weird it's only the rocker. The See how it's only at the edges? The rocker's never going to move more than this. Correct. So, is it a problem? Whew. That's. That's 
Oh, wow, that's way different. I wouldn't risk it. I agree with you that the Rockers are never going to move more than... But the problem is I don't think... I could probably just order the bearings and hopefully the trunnion isn't fucked up. I would say try to unpress it and repress it. Man, I don't know. Wouldn't that damage the needle bearings? Just... I mean, you've, you've got to unpress it either way, regardless if you order the new ones or... <laughs> yeah, you know I'll try again. I figured it's worth a shot. Just like that, right? Yeah. How did... Uh, fuck, that sucks. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, wait. Did I just do that wrong? Because it only took one side out. <sighs> yeah, that scared me. Hey, look, there's some... What's up? See if, um... See if you can clean that out a little bit, and then, uh... Assembly a little bit? Yes, that's what I was thinking. And that might actually be just enough to... fix it. Almost looks like there's shit in it, unless that... <laughs> that could've just happened, though. It just happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure what. Ooh, look. What? That Probably just like shot that out. out at me, yeah. Hmm. That could have been mine. Yeah, if I pressed it in a little sideways, but I don't know how you'd ever. Come on. I don't, can you tell if they're damaged at all? I guess we can try it one more time and see what happens. Everything looks kosher. I don't see any debris, so I'm just gonna. Okay. Oh, did you already do that one? Yeah. I just coated it nice. Let's see what happens. Yeah, maybe last. Maybe good things, maybe bad things. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Is the letters on the outside? Yep. Okay. Yeah, the last thing I want to do is have the whole engine together in that tight engine bay and then all of a sudden I have to take it back out. Shit. I forgot about that washer. <laughs> that would be really nice. It would be a lot less to worry about. Made in USA, baby. Oh, look at that. There's dirt on the trunnion. See that right there? Ooh. That might be what it, what was doing it if that's gasket no. material or No, it shouldn't. Because that's not the part that spins. I'm an idiot, you're right. <laughs> Fucking engineer. It spins freely, I I hope it was just pressed in wrong. We shall see. Just wish I had a better method than this washer method. Yeah, that's kinda kinda shitty.
first goes in it. Whoops, that was way too much. Might as well just let it go because I'm done for tonight. Is it all the way up? Yeah. Okay, what do you think? It's got still binding. <sighs> Fuck. It's still binding. Damn it. Before I even send an email to get what? It's only binding in one spot now. That's really confusing. It allows you to send it all the way to the other. Well, not really. I lied. But is it free where it needs to be free? It's right now, it's upside down, right? It has a little bind on the on the upstroke. Well, that's actually the, that downstroke. <laughs> that's when the valve closes. There's a little bit of bind. So it could cause like a sticky valve. If you're careful. Oh boy. I don't think it would, but. Yeah, that is kind of a risk. It's those things where you spend how much on that? Right. <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, it's like. <laughs> That's actually, I think that's, I think it's worse now because it's binding like right. Right where it shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It spins nice up until that point. I don't understand that. I'll probably ask them for a new trunnion and needle bear. Well, I might as well finish the rest because well, yeah. who knows how many are bad. Know, yeah, yeah. You're going to run into the same issue again. Or, and if you don't, you. Ugh. I don't know. Hell, they might. Yeah. It's a lot of scrap parts right there. Yep. <laughs> Junk. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I don't think you can reuse. You could probably reuse the trunnion, but definitely not the bearing. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we have a bad, bad something. The trunnion could be oblong or it could be the needle bearing. We don't even know. Bearings, bearing, bearings. Oh, I want to unplug this noisy ass. Oh shit, that too. Yeah, here, let me, I'll put that in the Yukon so I can go look at lunch. And you might, here, here's your thin pitch. This one wasn't stuck. So you can at least have a reference stuff. Because you'll need a new nut. Or, here, like yeah. I said, I can use the, I can use this end of the rods fine. You might get, uh, you might be able to get away with the bolt like you were talking about. I think so. From the bottom? From the bottom? Yeah. There was plenty of room, you said? Yeah, it looks like there's gonna be plenty of room. See that? May maybe, this, it might, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, this thing's fucked up bad, holy shit. Roached. Okay, I'll bring this, bring this with me tomorrow. Okay, well, I guess that's it for today. We'll see you guys next time.